Hello everybody, um, I'm Cam Bing and we're going to be casting a CSTL week 2 match between Kednick, the purple zerg in the bottom left, and Hummingbird, the random player but playing Terran today, um, in the top right. So Kednick is, uh, I believe it's just Cheese League, he's the team captain, and Hummingbird is from... Um, which one call? Oh no, no, sorry. Hummingbird's from Just Cheese League. That's Meek's team. Meek's team. And uh, Kednick is from which one call it? Uh, team Professional Photon Cyclists. Yes. Um, and so, as uh, the audience may remember, Hummingbird is indeed a former Grandmaster player. He was Grandmaster in the previous season. Right now, he's High Masters. And Kednick is about mid Masters um, Zerg. So this should be a pretty good matchup. Um, shouldn't be a blowout um, like other Hummingbird games we've seen in the past. So I'm looking forward to goodness from both of them. Looks like Ken is going to start with the media scout. I believe that was on 9 to see what race he's playing against. Looks like he's playing against Terran, so he'll be able to take his 15 hatch safely. Oh, a little bit of Miss Micro here. That's a lot of angry SCVs. Uh, huh, interesting. I'm surprised he pulled that many SCVs. Probably trying to uh, meta scare Kennick into thinking he's trying to do something cheesy. But it looks like for now, Hummingbird's just going to be going to get his quick gas. Probably going to go some quick Hellions to begin with. Um, poking around. Looks like Kennick, anyways, is going to be dropping. Uh, that's about a 14 pool, I believe. So he's going to be going speed lane expand. Um, probably because the drone didn't get there in time. I did a bad job of not actually seeing that. Um, but that's okay. So a little suboptimal, but when you play against random, you have to play a suboptimal in order to be safe. Looks like Hummingbird's going to complete the wall in, and everything looks standard, standard here. Um, so, I mean, Hummingbird can play a macro game, and I'm actually not sure what his plan is here. If he's going to try to go for a two base timing, looks like he's going to go. For, he's going to go for the ng block here. Pretty good. Um, it's actually pretty good. Especially because Ken doesn't have spotting over this, so the NG Bay is going to get close to full health. Um, typically what you want is to immediately get some drones down there to stop this from happening, keep the NG Bay low, and then get out the links, and it becomes cost ineffective for Terran. Uh, at this point, it looks like the NG Bay is going to almost finish. Yep, there you go. So we'll be able to cancel that, and it'll just be like an annoying pylon. It's going to take quite a bit of time to, to uh, knock down here. Factory going down for Hummingbird. Looks like he's going to go Reactor Hellion. Uh, pretty good opening here. Um, especially since there won't be creep in time to protect this natural. So the Hellions will be able to um, scoot up to the ramp if um, Kennex not careful with his lanes. Looks like we had a Marine scouting here. Two Marines just checking for Overlords. Looks like they missed um, the the first Overlord that's going to be scouting uh, south and going up north. Going to be spotting that natural. Checking to see if that expo goes down. Speaking of which, Expo going down for Hummingbird right now. So it looks like it's pretty standard um, Hellion opening. Uh, he's going to swap these two, be able to pump out two Hellions at a time very shortly. Four Lings going over to Ket from Kadnik uh, to be able to see what's going on. Looks like a lot more Lings, interestingly enough. Um, oh, that's because it's a bust. <laughs> so it looks like Baneling bust going down from Kadnik. Um, and we'll see here. Uh, four Banelings morphing in now. This is going to be interesting. Um, Hellions and Marines can hold this off. He's going to break down the front certainly, but it's going to come down to Micro to see if he can um, stop. Oh, oh, oh! That would have been huge. All right, here come the Banelings. Hummingbird knows what's going on. Uh, oh no! A little bit of hesitation. That's not good. Looks like he's going to try to throw down that second rack. Uh, nice. Look out for the reactor. And oh! Oh, that would have actually been a huge explosion. The keys here is going to be getting down these Hellions because those are all that's really stopping this flood of Lynx from coming in to be able to do tons of damage. Lynx coming in, sniping one uh, Hellion. Looks like the rest are going to get stopped. Oh, Sparring from Hummingbird throwing down the reactor and two Supply Divas at the same time to complete the wall. And that's going to hold off Kednik for a little bit here. Um, bad news is that because he's producing that, he won't be actually able to make any Hellions right now. So if uh, Kennick decides to bust right now, he'll be able to um, to just keep on the pain. What's Kennick going to be doing here? It looks like he's still rallying Lings over. 
Um, check his production tower. Looks like he's going to be back to droning. Throwing down his expansion. He's just going to be content with containing. Oh, very nice snipe. Um, looks like he's just going to be containing his opponent, um, trying to make sure that uh, that expo stays up or stays up in the main for as long as possible. So. Failed bust by Kednick. Uh, um, good reaction by Hummingbird. Looks like Kednick's going to be attempting to come back from this. Checking the Union County Station. Um, you know, every bust has a sad story when it doesn't work out. Right now, he's down a whole 10 drones um, to his opponent. And even though he has injects going, um, Hummingbird does have a double CC popping out those SCVs. So he'll be able to keep up with, uh, with Kednick's production here. So, very good. Missing that inject. Oh, there you go. Excellent. One Evo Chamber going down. We'll see. He'll be picking up. Um, probably going to pick up Carapus in a second. Let's see here. Four Hellions coming out. Kenna catches two. Ooh, nice. This is actually a little more cost effective than Kenna should be with those links up. Oh, there you go. And so, with that, looks like Hummingbird will finally be able to expand um, and also regain map control with these three Hellions. Probably not what um, Kenna wanted, having three Hellions out on the field like that. Fourth one on the way as well. Let's see, how is Hummingbird going to be opening out of this? He's going to be just pumping out Hellions. He probably knows this expansion um, is late, and so it's not going to have Spine Defense, not going to have um, a Queen up, so it's going to be able to sit here and just, you know, not kill the Hatch, but be able to be annoying as hell, uh, making sure drones can't do anything for now. Looks like Kenny's going to transfer two Queens to be able to stop that from happening. And Hummingbird does have his Expo down. Also a nice fat 6 drone lead over his opponent, which is always a bad thing for a Zerg. Uh, bad position for a Zerg to be in rather. Hummingbird going to the spot, doing double Engie Bay, and Hummingbird's going to be doing the standard thing here. He's going to be pumping out Metavax two at a time. Um, going to get a reactor on that. Three Raxes, or four Raxes rather, and one factory. He's going to be ring tank Metavax. Um, pretty standard play for him. Uh, six Hellions coming in. Unfortunately, since Kennick tried to attempt that all in, um, he's kind of not in a position to defend this at all. This Queen's going to be doing his best to, whoops, doing his best to uh, ward off these hounds, but oh no. Oh, big drone kill by Hummingbird here. Those Hellions just pace themselves. And it looks like the worker lead is now 45 19 in favor of uh, And the roaches go out, come out for Kennick, to build shoe all those away. So, good job by Kennick to um, ward off the Hellions, not dying to that, but he is behind in a big way here. Um, his only real hope is to attempt some kind of second bust on Hummingbird and hope that he doesn't expect it. Looks like Hummingbird's going to be throwing down that quick third CC. Um, so, standard greedyish uh, macro Terran play from him. Um, when I play against him, this is what he tends to do. <coughs> Looks like Kennex going to be getting some links to be able to spot the watchtower, see what's going on. And let's see here. Back in Kennex base, uh, two roaches out, two more on the way. Um, also producing some drones. I'm not sure if he's planning on trying to continue with uh, one final all in to see if he can just catch Hummingbird off guard or not. Um, but looks like Hummingbird's going to be prepared anyways. Three, three depots here uh, to be able to stop any kind of bust from happening. Oh, looks like Kennick's going to be expanding. He's going to attempt to take this into macro. Well, oh, okay. So, um, by expand, I mean not expand. And so, um, yeah, should be just Roaches coming out here, and we're going to expect a big fat all in. Um, plus one uh, missile attack going down for uh, Kennick, and that'll be his only upgrade when he attempts this. Four Hellions coming in and spot what's going on. They're going to see a bunch of Roaches, and... Um, immediately, Hummingbird's probably going to be concerned that it is an all-in, and most likely he's going to be right. <laughs> Seven Roaches on the way. Kenneth's going to be picking up double gas very shortly. No signs that he'll be moving on to um, high-tech anytime soon. He does need the double gas, or the all four gases in order to be able to spend his money on odd Roaches. Okay, these Hellions are just spotting around. Hummingbird's probably looking for an expo, um, expecting that a third should have gone down at some point. Just double checking everything. Oh, Kennick could have caught in a, like a Hellion or two. But, no dice. It looks like um, Hummingbird is going to confirm that, that no expansions are on the map right now. And so he just needs to shore up his defenses, build up his eco, and he'll be able to crush the Zerg army eventually. Looks like one medevac attempting drop. Denied, of course. 
so. Yeah. Looks like he got... Mm, totally missed that too, so 43 drones. So I think, I think he didn't manage to get any drones there. But unfortunately, Kennick's still on um, Lair... T or Hashtag, rather. Going on a Lair Tech, finally. Um, I'm surprised he hasn't decided to move out with these roaches yet. Um, check on the food count. You can see that uh, Kennick is indeed behind by, you know, over, over 70 food right now. Not a position you want to be in. I'm not sure what he can do at this point to actually come back. I, I mean, his best chance is to tech straight to infestors. Hope that Hummingbird sits on his third for a bit and then try to become ultra cost effective with investors at this point. Um, any kind of harass is just not going to be able to work here. Looks like Kennick's third's finally going down. Um, was able to ward off these three Hellions used to be four. Um, looks like a four CC is going down to Hummingbird as well. And yeah, Hummingbird's still waiting for that all in to happen, which is why he hasn't dropped his third yet. Um, but actually, uh, looks like Kennick has just decided to make roaches and um, just be safe for now. Another drop, missed it, because I'm bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, forcing Kennick to pull all those drones. It's just being annoying at this point. Um, he should probably just leave a few roaches out here, um, just to be able to stop that aggression from happening. So, they're almost done for Kednik. Um CC floating over to Hummingbird, from Hummingbird. Looks like he's going to make another CC as well. Uh, and here comes the push. Nice big fat 170 food push off of, I believe that's going to be... Oh, 2-2 two -two is going to be finishing too. So this is going to be ultra scary. And I'm not 100% sure what Kednik can do, as I've mentioned before. <laughs> yeah, now Kednik knows with that Scout Roach that indeed um, stuff's going down. Uh, Hummingbird doing a good job. He was checking to see if there are any burrowed bane leaks there. So yeah, checking production tab looks like um, Kennex can get speed and bane link speed, but unfortunately that's going to come a little bit too late. Looks like Kennex going to be moving out with these roaches, at least moving out of the way of those roaches rather. Um, Hummingbird should be able to walk over this very shortly unless. Um, by some miracle, 11 Banelings managed to hit all the Marines, which is very unlikely. In fact, Hummingbird's moving down here. Banelings almost done. Um, speed's going to finish right when they should. Oh, here we go. And then they should start rolling any second now. And good splits by Hummingbird. Good focus fire by um, the tanks. And there he goes. GG. And so Hummingbird takes a 1-0 over Kedrick.